magandang araw sa inyo mga idol. Welcome po sa aking munting channel. Malapit na nga pala birthday ko end of this month, baka naman po regalo nyo na lang sa akin isang pindot ng subscribe button at hit notification bell. Bago pa man ang sagupaan ni na Quadro alas John Riel Casimero vs. Filipas ni Tumbua nitong May 13. 2023 sa Okada Hotel and Casino sa Paranaque City, isang Pinoy undercard ang gumawa ng di malilimotang eksena bukod sa kanilang umatikabong bakbakan. Grabe din ang Pinoy na ito kung lumaban patay kung patay. Siya ay si Vince paras labing walong panalo, dalawang talo at labing lima KO laban sa habon na si Ayumuhan Ada na may record na sampung panalo, isang talo at walo KO. Ating panuunin ang kanilang maaksyon na bakbakan. Taller has needs to throw his jab and you know both guys have uh, great punching power in, in, in looking at their um their records and for power that was a good jab by the japanese fighter Hanada. to be the, are you more should you be more or should you try to establish the action early well, to to take somebody i don't really pay attention too much of what's happening out there good overhand by shoot and score from the outside compared to paras but paras is coming in there and counter that hook like he just did Good body shot. Keep his distance. Use that jab and that one too. Paras obviously needs to close the, close the gap, negate that reach advantage. Arada holding the phone, trying to protect himself from that left. He's hook. not backing up at all, you know, uh, to get his little distance, but he loves to put Howard in there. Coming up on a minute remaining in the very first round. Chimpak, both guys trying to take T off. <laughs> Paras needs to move his hands up, you know. He had the high guard going. This fight right now. Yeah, try. These guys. No, no, no. Let, let, let's get. Let's get to it. You know, good, good, right? By Paras. Hanada with a significant ten-second warning in the very first round. One, two. That landed by Hanada. Paras. Good exchange. Paras coming in with that hook. Observations in round number one. Then I expected. Nice connection. I love how Paras body. It's a great strategy. Now asking him to stand in back. And Hanada is, is coming in. He wants to do it too. Got hit by that left hook. Bot is trying to throw that overhand right. Missed it. Sometimes that's the preconceived notion with long and lengthy fighters that they outside. But no, Hanada says, I'm afraid if you are. Yes. You don't want to get gassed out see now in the second round. I would want them, especially with the fact that they're both throwing that. So being that there's eight rounds to this fight, I want to make sure that you know they're conserving that certain degree and throwing the punches when it's available, not just throwing it just to throw it. Make sure it's effective. Nice body shots. I... You can see the grit and determination on the face of Vince Paras. Trying to cut his opponent down to size. Paras is doing a great job of sure on him. Coming up on a minute remaining now. Another going back to that job. Just wants to drop that right. Open yourself up. You need more balance in that overhand right. Left hook counter that Hanada seems to want to throw. Walking in or jumping in, because again, uh, Hanada's power. Mm -hmm. Again, reminding everyone, both of them have significant punching power. Paras is not letting him breathe. Which is what you want. 10 second warning in this round. And the hook. Now, when you're throwing a lot of body shots, guess what? You're going to start dropping that hand, and then that opens up the, the head shots for Paras. There we go. Round number three, bout scheduled for eight. They're definitely going at it again, so both guys are just going for going for it. Nice slip there by Paras. In the, in, in, the, in, the, in the physical aspect, Paras is a, you know, he, he, his punches are, are in comparison to, um, to Hanada, who is more of a quicker guy. Oh, nice body, head, body. Very good. Nice one by Paras. Another one by Paras. Good overhand. But like I said, after a couple body shots, it opens up the head shots, and I think this is why... I'm, Hanada also is just going for it as well. But credit the toughness of the eating two shots, Nonito. <laughs> yeah. You're just throwing a lot of punches. It takes and lessens the uh, the punching power. Oh, good. Good overhand by Hanada. Both guys taking the shots and giving it back right, right. I would like to see us with more head movement mm -hmm. and make Hanada miss. Because when he does make a mid for a counter. Well, that's trying to go for the body. Making those hands drop. That's successfully connected. With two on in round number three. And, oh, that was two good little uppercuts out there from Paras. The thing about Hanada is he doesn't care too much about the distance that he has advantage over. Mm -hmm. He just want to go in there. And that it's um, it's it's Paras' uh, advantage in a very close circuit fight. 
40 seconds remaining in round oh. number three. Oh, look at Hanada. Letting, he's just letting him hit. But Maras says, I don't mind, let's go. <laughs> it's either it breaks Paras or it will break Hanada, seeing that, because it did hit with, with few punches. 10 second warning, round number three. I have to say, this fight is a very tiring fight, but it's a very exciting fight to watch. <laughs> this is what we all want to see. There's only 40 seconds left. He could have, but Paras took it. And Donito, from the keys to the fight that you saw earlier, who would you say has a slight advantage or the advantage in the fight so far? It's an inside fight. Paras is a shorter guy, and therefore, it's his advantage into this fight. Two and a half remaining in round number four. Again, another stand and bang exchange down the middle. If you're a fan of brawls, this is what you want to see. Again, I wasn't expecting him to, to come in this close to Paras. I thought he was going to get that distance, but he has slowed down a little bit. I believe the action's still there, but as far as them continuing. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the brief. Paras is giving that jab. Great jab. Paras is throwing more jab this time around. Uh, both fighters just... Oh, big shot there. By Paras. Did that rock Hanada? No, he's still firing away, countering. Round one and two starts to take a toll. That's a racial investment because... Oh! Stuns him, stuns Hanada. Oh, Hanada a little glassy there, trying to fight his way back. His legs were very wobbly. Be smart to keep him on off of off of him with a gentle slip. But he's leaving his chin right up there for Paras to He can't be careless though. Ten second warning. Big hook! Big exchange! In the previous round, I believe that they that Paras really was stabilized on whenever um Hanada was just standing there. That's what when he start when he hit him with the straight, you said he still has to be wary, he can't just run in whether or not he thought it was coming. Nice body shot from Hanada. I think the jab I able to land because of that jab that, that Paras has been throwing. Earlier we saw the toughness of Hanada again eating shots but still man. Inspiration or, or just feeling the cost, uh, the, the danger. Those jabs in combination. Good body shot. See, that's the remedy when you get a guts. And Rachel, you mentioned this. Those could be investment shots. Yeah, first on impact, but then as you go through through the fight, you mm -hmm. And Hanada, Hanada has the same or similar body style that I do. And we're cutting a lot of weight. You know, it's we're susceptible to hurt in the body. Yeah. And let's remember, guys, we are in the 112 uh, division. And he's throwing that jab and head movement. Good, good shot coming from. He's pressing in there, and and you know he's doing what he's doing it on and keeping the distance to his favor. He needed to regain his game plan. He needed to establish it again um, and reset. Really, we saw great. That's a smart move considering the punishment that uh, Vince Maraz is willing to unload. Oh, big shot there by Hanada. Again, that, that jab just keeps Paras at bay. And like we said, you can't count Hanada out, right? And so Paras has to be very guarded. Before, I feel like he had more of that phone booth. And again, I think both guys are just trying to be more coming in from in between the hands of Hanada. But Hanada is coming open more than one occasion. Oh, good Slipping. straight hooks, right? And now he's back to head movement again. Oh, good overhand. Paras staying active. Oh, big shot by Hanada. Good counter. Rachel was saying, open himself up and not overreach. Up to so much danger. So with him and not reach. For Hanada. Oh, big shot. By nice Paras. over right. That was a very good setup. Jab into the body. Oh, oh. big bombs. Oh, both yeah. guys. He does have a great job. He, he pumps it off really quickly. Paras is doing the same thing now. Overhand right. Oh, That's Hanada. three. Three landed. But look at Hanada standing there and taking it. And the thing is, uh, in, in the later rounds, even though you're getting hit, the power is not as dominating as, it, as, as, as every uh, weight into the punch. And it's very uh, good counter hook by Paras. Oh, Hanada getting hit now. Now gets back into a corner trying to push back. But definitely the early body shots has so, allowed down a little bit. Oh, that was a good oh. hand. It's, it's perfect for the taken. I set it up with the jab. Which can actually... You want to see Paras move? That was great. That was great. Gotta give it all you got, especially a close fight like this one. Both guys getting hurt. Both guys landing punches. And I think Paras just wants to, to win convincingly. Nada is trying to set up his own things. He's slipping those punches. Yeah. 
definitely more activity for Paras. You know, the last two rounds or so. Um, good one, too. Paras now trying to look for an angle, dancing around much more. And, and the last couple of rounds, like we said. But they're, they're, I believe he knows enough. He's trying to put a little bit more into his punches, and he's moving to get out of out of and into angles that are punch uh, punch ready for him. Look at these two knockouts go the distance. Tough. They took each other's power. Good hook straight from Hana. Yeah, both guys are putting their... And you can see how big of, a, of the hearts that they have. Oh, oh, big shot. That was a big or big straight coming from Paras. Now, Ryu, take a look at the quality of punches. He is able to hit Hanada with a jab. It's and I think that might switch judges a lot because he is... Paras is corner telling him to stay aggressive. Stay aggressive. Ten second warning. The final round. Oh, big shot. Paras. Another one by Paras. What an end. Wow. What a finish. Good. Good closing. Ten seconds. Both guys are happy with... Pagamat lamang sa height ang hapon ng limang pulgada ay hindi ito hadlang sa ating kababayan na si Vince Paras. At nang ayanunsyo ang resulta, panalo ang Pinoy at napayakap ito sa napakagandang binibini. At tuwang-tuwa na tila ba nakadobleng jackpot? Maraming salamat mga idol, pwede po ba ako makahingi ng pabor? Paki-subscribe naman po.